<laughs> All right, Wayne, tell us what we got. This is a Xenon one liter flask lit up, created toroid. We have a sidearm with mercury in there, and we've got a little bit of mercury vapor in it. And we get a multiple of colors, and it's much more behaved than the straight Xenon toroid. Uh, let's adjust the current a little bit. We use a little yeah, static to start it. And we got some blue. And red on this side. And we got some reds. We got a lot more color than we did with just the straight xenon. It's very stable. It's not jumping around. It's very, very stable. Our wow. dissipation is 56 watts. I'm caught up on one of these. Okay, and if you would like one, www.stratman.com. You owe me. Up. We didn't see that before. Ooh, that's toasty. <coughs> okay. Do we dare bring the mercury down closer? I mean, almost why not? Uh, what, what do you want to do? <coughs> bring the mercury from, you know, a foot away over here. Uh, go for it. What if it goes inside? Is that right? Cool. Yep, let's see what happens. My health insurance is up to date. <laughs> oh, that is so beautiful. Where is the mercury going to come out? There it is, right here. All right, hope you're filming because it's going to go am. in there and vaporize. Oh. Where is it? Oh, no, Where is there it? it is. Oh, on the oh, bottom. Yeah, it's on the bottom. Now that should be, it's a little that's beam. pretty hot. All right. I don't know, it looks like it's getting a little bit brighter to me. It is. Maybe um, bluer? The current is climbing up slowly. It's quite a bit bluer. Oh yeah, much more mercury in there. That green line. Oh green yeah, green I'm getting green. a nice turquoise blue. Beautiful. Yep. Okay. Man, it's so stable. Yeah, maybe you were right. I'm deleting every comment on YouTube about mercury being toxic, by the way. So don't even try, look, people. Look at how strong that line is. Yeah, that really is. The... Nice. Oh, that's really turning blue. See? Yeah. We're up to 63 watts. Temperature of this bulb is probably 150 degrees Fahrenheit. Oh, I have a temperature probe right here, actually, on, uh, hanging off of the back of the power supply. Yeah. Really? Do you want to? Uh... Uh, uh, let's see. Uh, is it in temperature mode? Yeah, I, I don't know how to. I just did it by feel. Yeah. That's probably oh, more accurate. Oh, look, it also be it. Uh, it it straight straights. That's cool. When Wayne touches it. <laughs> Strange and mad. All right. This is the state Beautiful. of my nerves being shown in <laughs> ionized gas. Just don't break that, or you have to buy me a, a new one. Which one? When you're leaning over and rolling. <laughs> How much is it? Twenty-four hundred. All right. I gotta see if it's worth it. Beautiful. The blue is gorgeous. It's kind of blue, blue I, I, green, I, love, I love the fact that it beads when you uh, when you capacitively couple to it. So Wayne, is this the first time you've done um, mercury yeah. xenon? Yes. Wow, that is gorgeous. And, and so it's filamentary like the xenon, but it's blue like the mercury. And it beads capacitively. Like, I did not predict this happening. That's a very conductive gas mixture. 
<coughs> fairly high pressure, relatively speaking, mercury, which is very easy to light. It produces a lot of light output. If we had uh, phosphor in there, it would be brilliantly bright. What's the UV output? Oh, it's the maximum <laughs> you can get for these phosphors. But the, the, All these phosphors yeah. No, but I mean through through this glass. Oh, oh no, 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 no. The no, glass no. is completely absorbing yeah, the UV. Yeah. yeah. So that uh, that that flask is pretty toasty. Let's see. Is it? Yeah. How do you know? Yeah. How do you know? Because I touched it. Oh. oh. It's not crazy <laughs> hot. I mean, this is Pyrex, so it's not. Yeah. But it's interesting. Why does it stay up like that? It's Anybody very, very stable. If we turn it around. Hmm. Is it, it's turning a little bit, isn't it? It's, it's it is. following. Yeah, I mean, this is not dissimilar to what we saw before. Um, at low power levels with straight xenon. Now, can you lift it straight up? Um, just lift the whole flask. Oh, look at that. Nice. Okay, and it persists. This is as far away as we've been, I think, isn't it? Yeah, so no weather effects. Isn't that interesting? In and out? Whoops. Oh, you broke it. I, no, we didn't break <laughs> it. Boy, it lights again easily. Oops. Just adjusting the bias. Now, another thing I want to try here. Hold on. Oop. There we go. Beautiful, beautiful blow. Turquoise blow. Yeah, if you stand back, I think this is the brightest I've ever ever seen of these. You really can't tell up close, but if you go back this far, I don't think we've seen them this bright. Very, very bright. I wonder if there's any way, you know, it's starting to undulate a little bit. Of course, it's a closed environment. Mm -hmm. Is there any way, let me get the freeze spray. Just of it. Let's see, where would it be good? You want the... It's being raised in the back. Let's see if I can cause the back to flow down. Oh, yeah. I say we tip this off. This is a keeper. Yeah, I agree. Let's auction it off amongst ourselves. I, I got the video. I'm happy. Your whole generation's that way. Damn it. So the cooling is just making a circulation? Maybe. Weather yeah. effects, yeah. Hmm. Uh, yeah, yeah, that mercury. Uh, so... It's actually kind of inhomogeneous. Like the blue is kind of at the edges of the torus. It's yeah. not homogeneously blue. Such a so so effect. white over here now. I I mean, we we gotta revisit the, the iodine. Why? Yeah. Maybe if we can do something like this with iodine and get the. Just like iodine is going to uh, raise resistance so much, and I think maybe mercury is making it go the other way. Yeah, I, I mean, this has got all the positive aspects of the xenon and the mercury. I mean, that's. Oh. Plus, we have the weather system. So, let me futz with the power a little bit. I'm just changing. I want to. There we go. Okay, I want to get a view around. I'm going to walk around in a second. So, get a nice 360. Okay. 
Okay. And I'm starting the bidding at three hundred dollars for this piece, and the world's first. Are you going to uh, sign it? And this is sure. a this is a this is a fifteen uh, um, this is a fifteen fifteen Tor Xenon, right? Right. Yep. So. Really? Yep. Three hundred bucks. Yep. I'd say this is a good candidate to do with a larger flask. 